No, I think I got enough of those. I just haven't bothered to do it yet. Robotron for tired people. I'm not changing the uh, the settings. I'm leaving them default. Uh, it'll actually say Super Player at the top of the screen at the beginning of every stage when you reach, like, stage 101. So that's what, uh... That seems like a reasonable goal to go for. It seems reasonable. Push! Only one player button. Welcome to Nova. All right, so you uh, you hold down button two to lock your fire impression in place. The problem is when you when you get these bonus items or when the bonus items appear on screen, they block your shots. So you have to you have to pick up the bonus items, or just get the enemies out of the way. Those satellites, you don't want those to go off the screen, or else you have to fight a mini-boss. It's a weird control scheme, but ah, I get I got used to it. First extra life. And then it's extras every 60,000. Five bonuses, so they're worth 800. It's very, it's very tempting to go for these bonuses all the time. And then get killed because of it. Sorry, no bonus. Oh, they, they aren't stages, they're scenes. Right. I kind of haven't played this in a while. I'm rusty, I guess. Kill that motherfucker. Never let those guys go off the screen. It's a weird game. As far as UPL games go, it's no, uh, it's no Mutant Knight or anything like that in terms of weirdness. those bonus items didn't block your shots. That's really unsatisfying, but I guess it would have been, been too easy to just keep firing, keep killing enemies, I don't know. They made their decision, I guess. So yeah, I did play like a very, very long credit of this, like I mentioned stream like five years ago. I put the I put the VOD on YouTube. Uh, I think I ended up getting like 11 million. Uh, the score... I, I, I found something out I didn't know about this game. Uh, the score does roll at 10 million, but before you get to, to 10 million, it does the... Uh, uh, it does the Defender thing. It does the Three Stooges and Brides as Brides thing, where like, the point threshold between your last extra life and 10 million... Uh, puts the game in a state where everything you shoot gives you an extra life. 
Like, Three Stooges and Brides as Brides has that thing where, like, it just automatically, like, brings you up to 255 lives. Defender, I think it's... it's Defender's, like, closer to it because it's, like, everything you shoot is... just gives an extra life. And that's how this is. Uh, the problem is... Uh, what it does is every time, like, it gives you an extra life for shooting something, it increases, like, the, uh, the bonus threshold for, like, getting another extra life. Like, it increases by another 60,000 when you... when you loop over. So the game is, you know, giving you all these extra lives at once, and it's like, okay, well, yeah, I, get, I got the extra lives. It's gonna take a while until I get a new one, no problem. Uh, problem is, you, you can't have more than 99 lives in this game. 99 is apparently the max. And so if you keep picking up extra lives by just shooting stuff, it keeps, like, increasing the, uh, the, uh, the threshold that you need for an extra life. It keeps increasing it by another 60,000. So you might increase it by, like, 9 million, which would be, like, 150 extra lives, but you only have 99 lives max, so you're actually, like, losing a bunch of extra lives, and that would make... That makes marathoning this game a little trickier, because you would have to get through that, that last... that last bit of points without getting too many extra lives, and I'm not sure how to do that. I don't know if anybody's, like, given that much thought. <laughs> I haven't. After getting 11 million, I was... I was done. But, yeah, like, Defender has the same thing, I think. I don't know why games always have that problem when they get to 10 million. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to fight the mid-boss. So I don't know if I could have kept playing in that case, if I could have made it to uh, 20 million. Probably not. I didn't even beat the high score on, on MARP. Yeah, the Three Stooges thing happened to me on Cabinet, because, uh... <laughs> this is the third time, at least the third time, I'm bringing up Drinkers again. In their final, their final tournament in 2019. They had a Three Stooges Cabinet, and they decided to run that in the tournament. And during that tournament, yeah, I figured out how to actually play the game. And I was like, well, I want to play it to a million. I want to see what happens. And then at a million, like, I had so many extra lives and I didn't know why, and I couldn't kill them off. It was a really dumb thing to do because I, I was hogging the cabinet for so long. Other people wanted to play it, too. And we eventually just had to kill the power on it and take down my score where it was. Uh, the extended threshold should be for the next extra life. So if you've increased it by, like, 9 million or whatever, that's just the next extra life you're supposed to get, because you've already, like, picked up a bunch. And then, like, 150 lives later, yeah, you'll be the next one at 9 million. Which is close to the next rollover. I think that's how it works. I'm, maybe I'm maybe I'm misunderstanding and I explained this all wrong. But I think that's how it works. Something like that. I think I saw Zotmeister play this, play the Arcade Classics Archives port of this on, on the Switch, and all the scores in high score mode look low. I don't know if anybody had even beaten 10 million. Am I gonna have to buy it? It's not, like, harder in some way, is it? <laughs> but it seems like some super player should have gotten 10 million on it.
I don't know if there's like any differences in the main ROM sets. Like I think like people have like run marathons on pretty much every ROM set. I don't remember how many there are. Somebody will have to check mark for that. I mean, the Arcade Classics Archive port probably uses a Japanese version, because they usually, like, default to that. This answer is Japanese. Get back here, you coward! Fuck. You don't really get much for killing these mid-bosses, so they're kind of a waste of time. I got, a, I got something. Oh, the leaderboard doesn't track the rollover? Oh, so you'd have to, like, kill it, like, as close as possible to 10 million. Oh, yeah, that's a power-up thing I just picked up, isn't it? Yeah, I can understand being like, yeah, fuck this, I'm not playing this shit again. <laughs> Paid eight bucks for it, though. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, I'd be really mad if that happened, too. <laughs> Four hours down the drain. one so far. <laughs> What's up, PJ? Yeah, the uh, the backgrounds are... Oh, there's something. I'm so glad I've spent no money on Capcom Arcade Stadium 2. I downloaded it on, on PS4 just to try it out. I'm looking at the Sun Sun scores, and I'm like, these scores are low. 700,000. Fuck this, I'm gonna do a, a multi-loop run of Sun Sun. And then you find out, oh. The game just cuts it off after the first loop. Oh, I see. I mean, Sun Sun does loop forever, so I could, I could kind of understand them doing that. I mean, they they did that with some stuff on on Capcom Arcade Stadium One, like the uh, like Volgus and Commando. That didn't solve anything for Commando because you can just infinite leech on the first stage anyway. So again, what the fuck? And Higemaru, yeah. I'm not very good at Higemaru. Ooh, what the, what the hell did that do? Summon another guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the, uh... If the, the Higemaru trick they did on Capcom Arcade Cabinet works, that thing I watched on our replay. I haven't gotten far enough in the game to, like, try that. I should really, like, figure out if that works in main. Where you go into the HUD and you just get a shitload of points. I did it either. I'm not really I'm not really very good at that game, so your guess is as good as mine. I 
lot of bullets on this game. Is this the first bullet hell? No. I'm gonna make a YouTube uh, clickbait video. First bullet hell! And have a red arrow pointing to the uh, bullets, I guess. Yeah, and a, and, a, and a dumb shocked face. Uber driver sucked me off. Dick stuck in VCR again. Man, all my all my YouTube uploads for the uh, for the one CCs on this run are just gonna be garbage. <laughs> Since I don't make clickbait thumbnails, it's gonna be boring games that are vertical monitor most of the time, so it just doesn't take up much screen space. If you're watching this on on YouTube, hello. Nobody's gonna watch this all the way through. <laughs> How did I play four hours of this? I'm already bored. My button is sticking a little bit too. I don't know if it's. My buttons have just gotten sweaty. <laughs> also, I think I've only died uh, died once so far. Shrapnel, the sinister things? I don't think so. Man, that's another game. I I really want to I want to do a full loop of Sinistar, but uh that's <laughs> there was no way I'm playing that today. Because I would consider, like, a 1cc in Sinistar to be clearing stage 5. Like, some people are like, oh, I, I cleared I cleared one stage, I killed the Sinistar once, that's a 1cc. No, that's just stage 1. There's five unique stages in that game. There's the first stage, which doesn't have a name. And then there's the Worker Zone. Then there's the Warrior Zone. Then there's the, uh, the Planetoid Zone. And the final stage is the uh, the void zone. And after the void zone, it goes back to the worker zone, which is stage two. So if you get to stage six, you've you've essentially seen every stage. And I have done that on cabinet. Uh, I don't know if I've done that in Mame though, because you don't really have this. It's good a control scheme. It's doable, but it's kind of a game. You just kind of have to. Uh, just keep playing credits until, until, until the gods smile on you and the warriors don't kill you immediately. Like, the Sinistar isn't the real threat in that game, it's the, uh, it's the warriors. But it's all RNG on, as to, like, when they decide to fire at you. They might just fire at you the frame they're on screen. They might hang around for three seconds before they decide to fire a shot. Good fucking luck. 
But I do want to... I do want to clear, like, five stages of Sinistar on stream at some point. It'll definitely... Well, I shouldn't say definitely happen, but I would like that. I would like for it to happen. I do like that game a lot, it's just, uh... It's a harsh mistress. Okay, no, that shrapnel doesn't kill you. I have 11 extra lives already. I have 12 extra lives already. These are big points. Gimme, gimme. Nom, 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 nom. 2,000 each? Let's fucking go. Oh, I left some on screen. Good, another extra life for the pile. Just fill up the entire bottom row with, with ships. And that's satisfying. Oh, I love it. Let it get off screen. Oh, what's that? What the hell did I just pick up? Was that another extra life? Tell me it wasn't another extra life. It was. <laughs> So those mini-boss ships, yeah, they have, like... I don't think they're random items, but... I forgot those things can even give you extra lives. Ridiculous. I just didn't have enough extra lives yet, I guess. Oh, maybe that is a full row. There's, like, room for one more, but it doesn't show up. Sorry, no bonus. Oh, there we go, full row. Satisfying. This really is Robotron for tired people. Leaf Clover item is just the thing that, like, adds a laser or whatever to your shot. I already have. So getting that first is pretty important. Ah. Got a 
lot of these games I played tonight, like I felt like it was I was really rusty at some of them. I'm not very rusty at this. <laughs> I think I've got this down. Bonuses. We gotta go for the big bonuses. Nom 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 nom. So what, 17 lives now? I died in like the first two minutes and I haven't died again since. <laughs> Wait, maybe I wouldn't even, like, need, uh, uh, like, more than 99 lives to get to 10 million. Like, if I hit the other uh, rollover glitch at 10 million, like, I could... Damn it! <laughs> Talk shit and get hit. I could probably get to, uh, get from 10 to 20 million on 99 lives, right? 10 lives for every million? I think that's doable. Maybe the game just got hard. Shit. I should stop talking shit. I'm fine. The game finally woke up. I died twice on one stage. What the fuck? Yeah, they're like kind of speeding up a little bit. Oh, do I have to get the, the bonus again? I think I still have it. Maybe I still have it. This game would be more fun if it was like five lives only or something. What the? Maybe I should have upped the difficulty. That is the default. Maybe I should have put it on hard and see what it's, see what it's like. It's probably still doable. I didn't even think about that. I just kind of run everything on default settings. Probably just a few more bullets. It's probably imperceptible. I'm halfway there. I guess the level layouts are still, like, new? Kind of? I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, repeating patterns yet. Like, I don't think it used this mixture of enemies like that. Could be mistaken. I do wish they showed the stage number at all times, so instead of just like in between stages. Or in between scenes. In between patterns. Ooh, eights! Ooh, thousand, let's go. Big bonus. Oh god. Not satisfying. I need more extra lives, you know, just in case. You never know. What was that game that had a... You could skip stages and they called it the, the skipper rack feature? Was that Solar Fox? It's 
thing is hilarious. It has a, a skipper rack meter. What the? How did I miss? Still gotta kill it. Skipper rack. It just sounds funny. Okay, yeah, the enemies are like they're a little bit faster. Slow down, buddy. Sorry, no bonus. Let's see, round fifty-nine. The other thing I like considered for like a a score attack run for the stream was uh, uh I want to do like at least a million on Kicker, aka Shallon's Road. I think I would have more problems with that than than this though. But I also figured maybe I can like save that for a Konami stream in the future. There may be enough Konami stuff left that I could theoretically like make a stream around it. Guts. Because a loop of that game is too easy. We gotta do some extra. People have done crazy marathons of that. And that game rolls at a million. Wait, does it roll at a million? I am thinking something else. Now well, people have done like 20 million on it, which was like 20 hours. That's that's a bit too much kicking for me. I'm just never really cut out for these long game marathons. I get bored really fast. I want to play new stuff. Like, I think the four hours I did on this was, like, one of the longest arcade marathons I've actually done. On a single game. I just get bored really fast. Oops. Did I get an extra life for shooting that thing? We're gonna get so many extra lives by by scoring sixty thousand points a bunch. How else am I gonna get extra lives? And sometimes the mid boss drops an extra life. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eights are worth three thousand points each. This helps. That was two extra lives on one stage. One scene. I don't know, it's just kind of funny because, like, I actually, like, know people either in Portland or the Pacific Northwest, I guess, that have that have done, like, long marathons of arcade games. Like, Bill Carlton, he's done... Uh, how many hours on Missile Command? At least 24. The problem is the cabinet keeps resetting on him. Uh, how many hours did John McAllister do on, on Joust? Like, 40? I was actually there for part of it. 
at like the very end. Ken House has done like close to 24 in Robotron. So they've 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 kind of peer pressured me a bit. Like, hey, Matt, when are you gonna do a marathon? When are you gonna do a marathon on Frenzy or something? I'm like, nah, I don't like doing marathons. It'd be one hell of a streaming event, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Did Chubo do 10 hours of Rock and Rage? That's like. The max has at least like eight, right? He's done that like at least twice. Yeah, sleep is pretty cool. I'm a big fan. I don't know. I've always toyed around with the idea of, like, you know, some sort of marathon, but... on a single game, but... Like... No... None of the games I could do are, like... I think, like, Robotron's, like, the most interesting to, like, play and watch. Everything else is just kind of... Eh. I've already hit my limit on this. <laughs> Oh yeah, how many hours did Kibby do on, on Nibbler the other... not the other day, like a couple months ago? Oh yeah, Ninja Yamaki is a pretty marathonable game. I don't remember if that maxes out. Yeah, we're like seven-tenths of the way there. We're almost there. God, 50 hours. I don't know how people do it on Nibbler, because Nibbler's hard. I'm, I'm fucking horrible at Nibbler. I can't handle, like, doing such precise turns, like, that far into a game. Oh, God. Oh, these are only seven numbers. Whack. What the fuck am I doing? How did I get away with that? Damn, it's good. But yeah, like I said, Frenzy's pretty easy. I guess Frenzy, like, has a bunch of, like, boards, rooms, what patterns, whatever, and eventually loops. So I kind of toyed with the idea of doing a... a score attack run on that, too. But I don't know where I would stop it. Like, 100,000, maybe? That's like one hour. Frenzy's like berserk for tired people. It's weird because it came after berserk, but it's way easier. I guess because it keeps giving extra lives. I don't know, I've never run into an unsolvable room. How is it unsolvable? Fuck. Ooh, got him right before he went off screen. I've never seen an unsolvable stage on that. Like, you should be able to, like, even if you can't kill the enemies, like, you can still go to the exit. Unless, like, everything just gets sealed off somehow.
I don't like these bosses because they take so many hits. They're slowing me down. They're slowing down my flow. They're killing my vibes. Or something. Seventy-nine. A damn good year. Right, Twenty more stages. Oh, and it's a it's a high-scoring scene. Oh, you can just wrap around. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I didn't mean to kill him early. Well, that actually saved me from dying, I guess. Like, why, why am I even trying to pick up the bonus items? Like, I clearly don't need them. to your birth year. Damn, they're firing hella bullets. Stop that. It's just, just run boards, run scenes. I just like the phrase run boards. Oh, my Donkey Kong strat. Dodges. remember like how many lives I was up to on that on that 10 million point run like before uh, before the glitch at 9.9 .9 million I was probably at like what 50 something I don't remember 
I watched part of the VOD, but I didn't... I didn't pay attention to the part, like, right before the glitch. I just wanted to see the glitch again. Shit, I'm doing this all wrong. I want my bonuses. No, these are like 3,000 points a pop. I gotta have my pops. Shoutouts to the 89 lads and lasses. Let's see, 90. Left 25. down here got best this year. <laughs> I'm giving no fucks. I'm just getting in there and getting the bonuses. And then dying later. And like, what, ten boards to go? Eight boards? We gotta get to 101. That's the key. I think the super player message shows up on 101. Maybe it's 100. I don't know. What is this guy doing? Get out of here. I mentioned that I've never seen a cabinet of this game either. A lot of games tonight where I've never like actually seen these in the wild. Uh, I don't know like how much distribution this got in the U.S. I probably would have been bad at this if I if I saw this when it was you know fairly new. I didn't have my Robotron skills yet. Ultracade cabinet. I don't think the the local Ultracade had this, but obviously there were there were different ROM packs they could put on there. So, you know they had a lot of Capcom and Jalico stuff. Fuck! They gave up all those points. Like I'm <laughs> like I actually care about playing this for score. You never know, I might run out of lives at this rate. Yo, Tiggy, thank you for the raid. How's it going? Is that a restaurant that had a cabin on this? Nice. This definitely feels like the type of game you would, like, see at a restaurant or a, a laundromat or somewhere, and that'd be the only place you'd ever see it. It'd just be in some random place, and then... 
You just never see it again. It feels like one of those games. And yeah, 2001 A Space Odyssey, yeah, probably did. Did factor into it. But also just the number 2001. It's almost as cool as 2000. It's the future. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. Locking me from, uh, from scene 100. There we go. Sorry, no bonus. Or should I say scene zero? We wrapped around. Oh, come on, you little shit. All right, that's it. 100 scenes. And now we're at scene one. And I am a super player. So that's just like permanently up there for every stage now, I think. Let everybody know. Top player coming through. <laughs> Am I done? Can we stop now? <laughs> Twenty six lives to kill off. I did it. I have become a super player. I think that counts as an honorary 1cc. If you disagree, well... Tough. Like, the game's definitely kinda, kinda looping the stages around and stuff. I think that's good enough. Kill off so many lives. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. I can barely play the full jingle before, like, it eats to death. I did lower the volume then. Oh, I could just, yeah, I could, like, tab out and have it just crash over and over. There we go. <laughs> How many more left? 16? Jesus Christ. I mean, I could speed this up. Some super player this guy is. He keeps crashing into the enemies. This guy sucks.
<laughs> yeah, it, it maxes out at 99 lives. I would have expected it to max at 255, but... But yeah, I guess there's like, yeah, some games like will just max out at 9 or... Centipede maxes out at 6. Which is really low. But then again, yeah, like, Robotron maxes out at 255 lives, and if you... If you pick up a 256, it takes them all away. Which is, uh... <laughs> an awful thing to happen in a marathon. If you're too good at the game and you earn too many extra lives... You could just lose it all. All my apes gone. Okay, we're almost there. Hey, last life. It's over! Okay, I said eight letters. Do I get numbers? I like the the robot at the top working as as the uh, the timer. You've got a one and a two, but not sixty nine or four twenty or six or nine. You know what I mean. Words are hard. I think the heat might have melted my brain a little bit.